Samuel Early Institute is a research institute that was founded to really develop the science of healing and all of its permutations. The attention to rigorous science is really what sets us apart. Over the last decade, Samuel Early Institute's published over 600 articles, all looking at how healing happens, exploring scientifically the frontiers of health and medicine. Some of Samuel Institute's unique capabilities and strengths lie around our ability to uh, investigate and evaluate interventions that are integrative in nature. These are things like acupuncture, chiropractic, dietary supplements, massage. So much of the work of the Samuel Institute this last decade has been focused on alliances and collaborations with the U.S. military. We work in true partnership with the military to identify their particular needs and find solutions that are custom built for them. One of the most impactful projects that the Samueli Institute has done involves acupuncture for pain and pain management. Research that the Samueli Institute did with the military showed that acupuncture was safe and effective for certain types of post-operative pain, nausea, vomiting, and a couple of other uh, conditions. There is a project where we looked at um, 123 Marines at Camp Pendleton who had uh, PTSD. When you take uh, treatment as usual and you add uh, healing touch and guided imagery, the warriors got better sooner. You get a uh, clinically significant improvement in the outcomes. The Samuel Institute is interested in transforming healthcare by bringing together the best of all healing practices and to help develop new models. The Samuel Institute uh, worked on uh, a framework called the Optimal Healing Environment uh, over the last decade. An optimal healing environment is one where all aspects of the environment are focused on enhancing our innate ability to heal. Working with Fort Belvoir gives us a chance uh, to put uh, that academic theory uh, into practice. We did a two-day seminar in which we introduced these concepts to the leaders of both the hospital and the entire Fort Belvoir community. And uh, the Fort Belvoir uh, commander uh, included optimal healing as one of his strategic goals. Optimal human performance requires people to pay attention to a number of things, whether it's what they eat, how they move, how they think, and the Samueli Institute is involved in all of those. Several years ago, we worked with the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and the military to develop a whole system view of how you enhance performance. Total Force Fitness brings together all the different silos that enhance health and well-being. That model is now being picked up and used within the civilian sector and multiple other organizations. The very same principles of optimizing human performance that have been so elegantly and powerfully on display in the military now have to shift to the civilian population. Our military research uh, and our civilian partners are now uh, exposed together. These techniques, these modalities, these practices are really part of a healthy lifestyle. Really what we are teaching are life skills and an approach that says it's not enough to avoid illness. It's not enough to treat somebody when they become ill. Healthcare systems, work sites, and even countries have come to us and said, can you help us figure out how to translate this effort into our own environments and our own context? I think what the Samueli Institute offers, it offers a new vision for how that can occur, and it offers the tools and the opportunities to help people achieve that vision. <laughs>